What's next for Dua Lipa? For anyone who has watched my channel, you would know that I was not a huge fan of Dua Lipa. I didn't dislike her, but I really struggled to see some of the appeal of her first album, which was just pretty generic. Although I did enjoy a few songs from it, I just wasn't expecting to pay attention to her fully anytime soon. I just viewed it as radio and playlist fonder for the most part. Which is why I was a bit taken aback and pleasantly surprised at how much she had leveled up when Future Nostalgia hit the airwaves in 2020. An expertly produced, well conveyed, and enthralling sophomore album from the star. She still managed to keep the music radio friendly, while making sure it was brimmed with sassiness. And it was finally assembled with nostalgic dance elements being modernized. The album has proved to be a successful benchmark for the star. While her debut album was more of a European hit, she managed to break the states and in a very major way, with Don't Start Now becoming the biggest Hot 100 hit by a female artist of 2020, while Levitating became the longest running top 10 hit by a female lead artist in the Hot 100 history. Scoring two top 10 hits and one top 15 hit with Break My Heart, while Future Nostalgia was a great improvement, the waters towards the end of Future Nostalgia appear to be a bit muddy. She released some so-so Future Nostalgia leftovers, and I really hope they aren't the precursor to the direction she'll be taking for her next record. I think the next gradual step for Dua at this stage in her career is to really define who she is as an artist. She has a distinct voice, clear ambitions, and well-produced records, but who exactly is Dua Lipa? I don't know. She has just the right amount of edge in her voice and her songs to stand out to some degree, where her artistic identity isn't exactly clear. Although Dua has stated she wants to be the next Madonna and cited Madonna as one of her champion influences, she certainly isn't as provocative or culturally alluring as Madonna was and still is. Dua still strikes me as a relatively inoffensive but nonetheless good pop star. A lot of her peers such as Doja Cat, Lil Nas X, Ariana Grande, have instantly identifiable personalities and artistic identities. While Future Nostalgia was a definite start in her establishing a more known presence, it has yet to come to fruition, and her personality at times is kind of hard to measure. Dua writes the line of generally being well likable, but not exactly distinctive or personable enough to attract household name recognition just yet. The leftovers she's released from Future Nostalgia have not been as good as the songs on the actual album, such as We're Good, which sounds like a combination of something Lana Del Rey and Ariana Grande would do. Fever with Angela is probably the song I enjoyed the most from the Future Nostalgia Leftovers. Still, it leans more towards passable, and also seems more strategic for Dua to continue to widen her international following. Angela is a big French artist. Dua and Elton John also released a reworking of his classic hit, Rocket Man. And honestly, it doesn't leave much to be desired, and Dua carries it. It's a nice way to reintroduce a new generation to a veteran act, However, the original is far more enjoyable. I think her third album will be extremely important for her career. Will she once again elevate and build, or do more of the same? Will she follow Madonna blueprint and continue to reinvent and perhaps cause some cultural conversation? Will she follow the Rihanna blueprint and become a personable hits machine? Or will she stick to what she is now, a good pop star with good hits? i like to see her really shoot for it and truly establish a strong identity where everyone knows who Dua Lipa is and what she's about. Someone who has done a great job of that and has continued to build upon it is The Weeknd. While Dua Lipa said she wants to become the next Madonna, I'm not really sure if she inhabits the natural charisma and provocative nature of Madonna, but it could be something where she wants to ease into it and show us more of her later. Realistically, I could see her taking the Rihanna route, just being an absolute hits machine, but the thing is, Rihanna was also a very natural provocateur and a fashion juggernaut, and she still is. Dua has gained a lot of recognition with Future Nostalgia, and I hope she's really able to build upon it.